Simon, I don't want to waste a second. Detroit, visiting Kansas City, Thursday night game. The spread is six and a half. Money is on the Lions. Bets are on the Chiefs. This is a no-brainer. This is a no-freaking-brainer. What do you say, Detroit? Yeah, we're, we'll be a, we're not a Detroit fan for the division, but we are a Detroit fan for Thursday night, right? So um, all the people, we're going to say a lot of contradicting stuff that we said in the summer. I try to tell people the time. It's, it's all broken down into five different seasons, right? You got the off season, you got the draft, you got the regular season now, we got the playoffs and you have the Super Bowl. So every season's handled differently. And that's no, that's no different here when we start off week one. It's, we're thrown out last year. So, yeah, looking at this matchup, Chad, pretty simple. Is Chris is uh, Chris Jones playing in this game, Chad? No. No. And is Chris Jones the most important player by far to the Kansas City defense? So important that Travis Kelsey is begging him to come <laughs> play. Yeah. So, so, literally, anyone with a computer can go online and look up the stats, what this defense is against the run with Chris Jones on the field, and how this defense performs with Chris Jones off the field against the run. What does Detroit want to do? They want to feed David Montgomery and a rookie first round pick they just took this year. So you have a team in Detroit that has an excelled offensive line with two running backs they want to feed going against a defense that was already weak against the run. And now without arguably one of the best run defenders in all football and Chris Jones for this game, it's, it's the exact reason why you've seen the money coming on Detroit. And this number has gone from seven to six and a half. And now some books have it at six. Most books have it at six and a half. I, I think the Chiefs will win, so I won't be touching the money line for the Lions here. Like, if you want to put the Chiefs in a teaser, I get it. But for this show, when we bet straight bets, it's it's a no-brainer. It's it's one of those we would make – if it was still seven, it would probably be a guaranteed player for us in the contest. But the fact now I think it's probably going to get to six by the time um, this game kicks off or six, six and a half. If you're in a game, if you're doing a contest that locks on Thursdays, I just wouldn't do it because you're not getting the best number. And looking at this game – you're going to want those numbers against Mahomes. We talk all the time. Mahomes is scary as hell to bet against. But me and Chad love to do it because he's over always valued. So this this number probably should be five and a half, six. We're getting a free half a point at six and a half just because of the Mahomes effect. They're not accounting enough for how Chris Jones is missing this game. So, uh, yeah, Chad, you, you knew right away we were going to love this game. And all, all the reasons are there. We have a good offensive line and a great run game against a weak defensive line. So um, can't ask for much more in this matchup. Let me give you some stats. So Evan Abrams puts together this great list of stats that are betting relevant for every single game. And he'll do it all season long. And of course, because it's week one, I've had a month to digest this thing. <laughs> it was 24 pages. Yeah. It took me weeks to read it and then cut and paste everything I wanted, not just into our script for week one, Simon, but I've got a specific coach's stats file. I've got a specific... QB stat file. A couple stats to think about. Patrick Mahomes, Jared Goff. Who is the most profitable QB against the spread over the past five years? Jared Goff. I think he's covered every year. Jared Goff, 48-32-2, is the most profitable quarterback in the NFL against the spread the past five years. Um, and week one, I don't, th I don't think he's ever not covered week one. He has some crazy. Jared Goff, like six and zero oh against the spread in uh, in his career. Week one. Week one. Yeah, so I, I thought it was something crazy like that. Yeah. All right. So um, here's another stat that's important to know: uh, Patrick Mahomes. Right. We always talk about like Patrick Mahomes is not a great guy to bet on because the spreads for Patrick Mahomes are always so freaking high, it's impossible for him to cover. As a favorite in 84 games in his career, 41, 42, and one against the spread. Yeah, and then another stat for people to remember is he's the other way, though, when the spread is below three. Like when he yes. is two and a half, or an two, or an underdog, he is money. And that's the thing with Mahomes is he wins. That's what I'm telling you. You can tease this game. You just don't want to take it on the spread. So if you want to tease it down to half, I mean, we all know this is a great Wong teaser. Do it. Throw throw this one in. I mean, it's going to be one of the chalkiest tease plays of the week. But that's what's so great about Mahomes is he'll cover you 
if you're someone like me, like said, bet it straight, and then I'll cover Joe Public, the people that like to tease him. So that's that's the one thing about Mahomes is he's never going to get blown out. He's always going to be in a close game, and it's one of those things. If he has the ball last, you just need him one by one point. So that's why this is a great number to tease. But I think Chad just nailed it. It's just there's a lot of bets we make. We don't have a choice to make. We're just following the book. This is one of the games. Like everything points to taking this number here with this Lions team.